Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to tell about the topic abiotic components of ecosystem. So, first, uh, let us introduce what is ecology. So, ecology is the study of the ecosystem of interaction among organism and their environment, such as interaction interactions organisms have with each other biotic and with their physical abiotic environment environment is defined as the physical and biological factors along with the chemical interaction that affects an organism the environment of an a any organism includes abiotic factors which are non living things chemical and physical factors such as temperature light water and nutrients and the biotic factors include the living organisms the components of uh, an ecosystem consists of uh, abiotic components and components are non living components so the biotic components can be further grouped into the following three inorganic substances and organic compounds physical factors like sunlight temperature pressure they sustain and limit the growth of organism in an ecosystem inorganic substances like uh, carbon dioxide nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur water rocks soil and other minerals organic compounds like uh, carbohydrates proteins and humic substances they are the building of systems and therefore make a link between the biotic and abiotic components so in the types of ecosystem we have natural ecosystem and man made ecosystem in the natural ecosystem the they totally depend on the solar radiation for example forest grassland ocean lakes etc so man made ecosystem depends on solar energy like agricultural fields and aquatic aquaculture ponds so in the pond an example of complete closed ecosystem it works on unity in equilibrium pond ecosystem consists of mixture of plants animals inorganic and organic materials abiotic components found in a pond ecosystem so there may be abiotic components like light inorganic and organic compounds so coming to the light solar radiations provide energy that controls the entire system penetration of light depends on the transparency of water amount of dissolved or suspended particles in water and the number of on the basis of extent of penetration of light a pond can be divided into euphotic eu means true photic means light mesophotic anaphotic zones no light is available in the aphotic zone inorganic substances these are water carbon nitrogen phosphorus calcium and a few other elements like sulfur depending on the location of the pond organic substances like oxygen and carbon dioxide are in dissolved state in water all plants and animals depend on water for their food and exchange of gases like nitrogen phosphorus sulfur and other inorganic salts are bottom sediment and inside the living organism a very small fraction may be in the dissolved state organic compounds the commonly found organic matter in the ponds is amino acids and humic acids and the breakdown products of dead animal water and partly suspended in water thank you